Hi guys, in today's video, I will show you how to install custom ROM on any Samsung device. If you are looking to customize your Samsung phone with new interface, enhanced feature, and broad free experience, installing a custom ROM is a perfect solution. If you are new to installing custom ROM, make sure to follow this step carefully. Installing custom ROM can sometimes break your phone if not done correctly. So, as a precaution, I strongly recommend downloading the official firmware for your device first. This acts as a backup in case you need to restore your phone later. Also guys, as a prerequisite, your Samsung device bootloader must be unlocked. If you haven't unlocked it yet, I already made a detailed video on that. You can watch it uh, by clicking it here. Now, let's get started. First, we'll move to the PC screen to download all the files we need. The first thing you need to download is the Samsung USB drivers. Next, we need to download Arden. Arden is a reliable and powerful tool for flashing firmware and custom recoveries. With these two files ready, the next step is to download the TWRP recovery. Since I am using uh, Samsung S23 for this video, so I will search for TWRP specifically for S23. Head over to the official TWRP website which is TWRP.me. Guys, TWRP is available for almost all the Samsung devices. Once you locate the device, ensure you download the file in the tar format. This is crucial because Orin doesn't support zip files. Now, for example, if you are using Samsung A20, simply search for TWRP for Samsung A20. In most cases, you will find it on the official TWRP website, or you can download it from any trusted source like XDA. So, download TWRP for your specific device. Alright, we have our TWRP file. Next, we need to download its VB meta file. Uh, to get this, simply search for install TWRP with your device name and check for any XDA post. Is TWRP is available for your device, you will always find BB Meta file on any XDA post. Once BB Meta is downloaded, also download a boot repack if available for your device. This is useful in case you want to back to stock recovery, so you can flash it uh, using TWRP. Now we have all files ready. First, let's extract the Orient tool and install Samsung USB drivers. So let me quickly do that. Alright. Now navigate to the extracted Ordin folder and run Ordin.exe file. So in the Ordin, you will see several options. First click on the AP button and select the downloaded TWRP file. Once selected, uh, click on user data button and select VB meta file that you downloaded earlier. So both the files are now selected. Before flashing TWRP, we need to download custom ROM also. Uh, first we need to download platform tool which is nothing but a command line tool to run ADV and fastboot commands. Platform tool is not downloading. Now let me show you how you can download custom ROM for your Samsung device. So I am going to search for custom ROM for Samsung S23 and open the XDA link. Once it is open, click on the development option. In this page, you will see all the available custom ROM for your device. As you can see, this is Android 15 ROM based on one UI. And this is Rising OS. Guys, you can download any ROM you want. Now I'm going to download CR Droid ROM based on Android 15. Now search for a download button and download it into your PC. Guys, this is important for Indian user. If you are a GeoSIM user, make sure to download one UI based ROM. Otherwise, Vault might not work for your Samsung device. So custom ROM is also downloaded. It's time to flash TWRP first. So let's move to the full screen. Guys, I assume your device bootloader is unlocked. If yes, let's boot the device into download mode. To do this, connect your phone with the PC and restart it. As soon as Samsung logo disappears, uh, quickly press and hold both volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously until you see a blue screen. Once you see the blue screen, press the volume up button once and your device will boot into the download mode. Guys, when your device is properly connected with the PC, you should see added message in Ordin. Next, click on the option tab and here uncheck this auto reboot option. Once that's done, click on start button to flash TWRP. The process will take around uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So wait for it. So as you can see, pass message in Ordin, which means flashing is successful. Now don't try to reboot the device yet. Instead, we need to boot the device into the recovery mode. To do this, press and hold power and volume down button until the screen goes black and the phone vibrates. Once you feel the vibration, release the button and your device will boot up into the recovery mode. So the device is booted into TWRP recovery. 
फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फॉर्मेट अ डिवाइस सो टैप ऑन पाइप एंड देन फॉर्मेट डेटा हियर टाइप पी एस एंड एंटर इट विल डिलीट ऑल द डेटा ऑन योर डिवाइस वंस डन गो बैक एंड क्लिक ऑन एडवांस वाइप हियर सेलेक्ट थ्री ऑप्शन टेलविक कैशियर एंड डेटा एंड देन सिंपली स्वाइप टू वाइप नेक्स्ट गो बैक एंड क्लिक ऑन एडवांस हियर सेलेक्ट ए डी बी साइड लोड एंड देन स्वाइप टू स्टार्ट साइड लोड प्रोसेस दिस विल अलाउ अस टू सेंड अ कस्टम रूम फ्रॉम पी सी टू योर डिवाइस सो लेट्स मूव टू द पी सी स्क्रीन ऑन पी सी एक्सट्रैक्ट प्लेटफॉर्म टूल फोल्डर एंड ओपन एट एंड इन डी एड्रेस बार टाइप सी एम डी एंड हिट एंटर नाउ टाइप ए डी बी साइड लोड एंड पेज द कस्टम रूम पाथ इन टू द टर्मिनल Just like this, guys. Make sure your phone is connected to the PC, and simply hit enter to start the process. The flashing process is now begin. Ah, uh, the time it will take will depend on the size of the room. So be patient. Once it's done, the room will be successfully flashed on your device. So wait for it. So the flashing process is complete. Click on the reboot system to reboot the device. Guys, first reboot might take some time. Uh, don't worry, it's normal. Once it's done, the device will be loaded into the new custom room. So let me fast forward it. So yes, as you can see, device is reboted, and you are seeing Linux-based custom room. Keep in mind that this room doesn't come with G apps by default. If you want to install Google apps, you need to download G apps first, and then uh, flash it using TWRP. If I go to the settings now, you will see a uh, room is based on Android 15 as expected. So guys, by this way you can install any custom room you want. And that's it. You have successfully installed custom room on your Samsung device, and you are now ready to enjoy all the new features and performance improvement. I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you found it useful, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any question or ran into issues, feel free to leave a comment below. I am happy to help. Thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one this is Jarvis signing off